Ryan, I dare you to go over there and Speak to ask him what he was listening to. Mm-hmm. And so like the pool gets shut down, like like always, like I'm the last person to leave, me and my boys, and he also was the last person to leave. Yeah. And I was like, hey, mister, what were you listening to? And he just looks at me like super creepy and goes, a lot of things. Oh, <laughs> shit. And I was like, wow. oh, that was weird, but like I didn't think that much of it. <laughs> I had a fan that got my number somehow and just constantly called me like 10 times a day. But he, it was just, it was just, it was mostly kind of like a prank call. Like he would start rapping on the Heavy phone. breathing? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Or was he trying to Fuck get a- G2! <laughs> I'm G1! Like, <laughs> Not even like that. He, he like, would just do, sister. I came before you, I'll end before you. <laughs> no, but he would, he would just do random ad-libs. It was just annoying. I think he was just trying to annoy me. He's like, yo, check. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Check? Yeah, what? like, yeah. He's like, why? He was just doing a lot of ad-libs. Like, he was doing that constantly for like a week every day, 10 times a day. I just Like Mike Jones. Wow. Yeah, like Mike Check. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my. But that just kind of faded away after yeah. a while. So, I mean, that was, that was kind of, I guess like, it's a goofy story. I'm like, I was kind of happy. I was like, whoa, shit, this thing, this happened to me. Nice. When I was 11, <laughs> I had like a, a real stalker, like, when a you were living? like a real, uh, like a man, what like a grown like ass a fucking man, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know if he's You're a pedophile. You're a cute baby, that's why. Just like little, little cute. Can we put a picture of, one of some yeah. of my baby pictures? What like, were you doing no, what at were the you age wearing? of 11? Yeah, that's, the, that's the problem. <laughs> I was and I was tight. But, <laughs> you know, this, was, this is before beer. You were a sexy <laughs> little, little Solly with the rosy cheeks, just like this, but a fucking six pack. Did you have a hairy chest? I rolled back. <laughs> <on my laughs> you didn't have a beard either, did you? <laughs> no, I, I, I might have been in the beginning of a chin strap. Yeah, okay. At eleven. <laughs> But uh, yeah, like I was, I was at the pool one day. I actually did have a girlfriend at that time. And I remember like I had just, I was at the pool, like 11 years old and just trying to like jump off the high dive, impress my girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. And there was this like, maybe like 30 year old, kind of like pudgier, shaggy looking kind of dude. And he was sitting off to the side like mm. on a, on a lawn, on like a swimming pool chair, Ooh, wow. dancing like this, like Yikes. he had a head comb. And he's dancing, he's going crazy. And me and my boys were all laughing at him like, what is this guy doing? He's dancing so hard by himself. Mm. He looks so silly. And I was kind of a dickhead when I was a little kid. So my friends were like, Ryan, I dare you to go over there and Speak to ask him what he was listening to. Mm-hmm. And so like the pool gets shut down. Like, like always, like I'm the last person to leave me and my boys. And he also was the last person to leave. Yeah. And I was like, Hey, mister, what were you listening to? And he just looks at me like super creepy and goes a lot of things. Oh <laughs> shit. And I was like, wow. oh, that was weird. But like, I didn't think that much of it. So I get to the pool the next day, like bright and early, like it's beautiful outside. It's a crazy, beautiful Mm. day. And this guy goes, hey, Ryan, come here. And I'm just like, how's this motherfucker know my name? That's crazy. Oh, that's scary. And I go over and I sit next to him and he's like, and he's like, will you, will you, uh, let me show you something. And he opens up this bag and he takes out one of those like yellow flippy notebooks, you know, like Uh the notebooks that don't have the cover. And he takes it out and it's just like filled front to back with like writing and symbols and all this crazy shit. And he's like, this is my notebook about you. Whoa. And, and, I, and I was like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse <laughs> me, Mr. Can and I keep like, it? <laughs> he's like, What's he's about? like, every single night I talk to your guardian angel. I turn my TV upside down and I put a little prism on top of it. And when I turn off the lights, your guardian angel comes out. And I know that it's your guardian angel because yesterday when you were jumping off the diving board, your cheeks were the same color as the angels. Damn. And I was like, so scared, Weird. but That's... that I was like silent, you know? And I'm also like a people pleaser, so I didn't know how to be like, fuck you, mister! <laughs> <laughs> like, and run away. I just like, I just listened to him, and I was like, that's sick, you know, whatever. That's sick, sick. <laughs> like sick in which way? Like, <laughs> whatever, like, that keeps going to the directions there. Oh, whatever man. word I have for sick. Anyways, like at that time, that's cool. But anyways, I ended up just sitting with him and he talked to me for a long, what seemed like it went by pretty quick, but I think it was a long time because I could tell that the lifeguards were like a little bit weirded out. Like, what's going on? Yeah. Okay. But then the dude's like, come out to my car with me. And Yikes. I was thinking like, of course I'm not going to go to your car. And I was like, Strange okay. And I went with him. Uh? I like actually went with this man to his car and we're like walking out and I'm like thinking in my head, like, why are no adults helping me? Why are no adults helping me? What? And he like, 
uh, walks me to the back of his to the to his car and he pops the trunk open and I'm like, oh, this is it. Well, this is why I said that he's not actually a pedophile, like because he just like grabbed this like shitty old bag from like the thrift shop and he was like, I got you a present. And it was just like it was like a pink T-shirt, like it looked like it was like a rock band from the '80s or something. Mm -hmm. And he was like, "My, your guardian angel told me to give this to you." And I was like, "Oh, thank you. I, I really appreciate it." And he was like, "Want to go grab a bite to eat?" And I was like, "Hell no!" <laughs> <laughs> and away. And like, right when I right when I went back inside, like the lifeguards were like hugging me, like, "Are you okay?" And in my head, I'm like, "Where were you at just now?" <laughs> that was just the adults. Oh, that's that's creepy. That's it's kind of got this that's serial traumatic. killer kind of feel to yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Hope you enjoyed the clip. If you did, listen to the full episode on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. And make sure to subscribe to this channel, Dive Studios, and put those notifications on. Hit that bell. Boop, boop, boop.